little review on the Sundown essay. That's right, this is the essay. Uh, essay version 3. So you can see the frame that they use. It's cast aluminum. They still use a spacer underneath, which looks like it's now made of aluminum instead of the plastic that they used to use. Um, they also added this thing, which is, I don't know. I prefer a regular wrap wraparound wrap gasket, but you know, I guess this is something. So we have a, another idea uh, like this, but um, of course we wouldn't badge ours. We'd, you know, laser scribe stuff later on. This also uses the, the, the dust cap with the big flange that I don't like. Uh, I'm going to see if that's, uh, if uh, Jacob had decided on a uh, inner cap or not, which I think should, this is the lazy way, is that it saves time. So, but we already got to cut apart. This is the new two and three quarter coil, which I think is a waste of time. Uh, and doesn't help the industry. It helps. It definitely helps Jacob's pockets. So and uh, Dan over at Directronics, who does the recoils for them, um, used the collar, which of course is also a cheat. But it looks like they used. Um, it looks like epoxy actually. So which is a nice change because typically they just use CA. So the spider looks fine. Multi-layer uh, quad leads, great. Uh, these are the new, uh, these, these are a little bit oversized. Um, actually, these aren't, this version isn't. There's another version with a little bit bigger opening on the terminal. So then I got some of those before they cut me off. Um, let's see, standard five inch hole pattern. Uh, it's just that uh, weird coil. So this is my version, which I think should have been done. And uh, this is taking cues from Travis Young over at uh, JY Power who was the designer behind uh, Twisted Sounds, the Twisted Sound subwoofer. So this is a quad stack um, with a, let me grab the coil, with a with an elongated uh, two and a half inch coil, standard. So, and this is, this is great because you can still use the old um, Sundown Audio SA two and a half inch coils. Um, you don't have to use the whole thing, but because it is so tall, you can use a longer coil like that. So to give you more excursion and so let's look at the excursion differences. X max. So a good, I would say three quarter inch more. So, and this, this could have all cost the same or even less. So it probably less because when you tool up a, a weird size like this, you know, they charge you extra. So not that it's that big a deal. So it just, you know, it guarantees rec uh, recon money for, uh, you know, for sundown. So did they badge the back? Yep. It did like a, is that a laser? Looks like a laser. So good butthole. Other than that, it's, a, it's not a bad subwoofer. It's just that you, you can't recon it. So, and this user, you know, fried it. And uh, I just, I think for the same money, you could have got more excursion and it looks taller because this this frame is deep inherently and then they added a spacer on top of it so they're not worried about depth mounting depth so same thing here so in fact i'd probably just use uh 10 millimeter bearing spacers bam boom so what i'm what we might do as an as an offering in the future is that you just save the frame you you know prep it all grind it up and uh and then what we do is you sell the motor out to somebody else you know for a bunch of money because this thing is like i want to say 375 if i remember right it's pretty expensive um and then uh we can just help you replace it with a a different motor that you just bolt on place so my review as far as performance sure it's great i oh i think I'll, they also share the platform with um nick uh, lemons at stereo integrity. That's the same motor as this SQL. So, and not that, not that two and three quarters is, is by any means some sort of magical diameter, because if it was, everybody would use it. Uh, and it's not. So, and, and technically can you probably use, uh, the JLW6 coils? Probably, but the, the gap is much thinner on the W6. This is much wider. So it uses a much bigger coil. 
looks like aluminum offhand. Make sure. No, it's copper or copper or copper clad. So it just feels kind of light, that's all. I don't know, I'll have to look on the website. But other than that, I mean, to me, it's just there's so many other options out there for the same performance from shit. Everybody from Massive, Sound Cubed, um, Scar. So all those guys, and there's there's really, he didn't really pay any tooling fees, maybe maybe on the boot, which is like $450, $500. Um, other than that, that's it. So I think this is probably a dual one inch slug. I haven't looked, but I, I'm just a little disappointed because there's a, there's a big gap between the SA and the X. So, and, uh, we actually have a client that brought in these, he had these built, uh, custom. This is the X motor. See, so it's quite larger. So, and it uses a three inch coil and then he used the, what do you call it? I don't want to call this the U frame, but that's what it is. So. But, uh, well, the U is supposed to fill the gap in between those guys. So, and I, I don't, I don't remember if I've seen it or not in person. Anyways, uh, that's my review on the SA version three turd. Love you.